Ladies and gentlemen, I am Lord Gallos of the Ultimate Gaming Federation. I have a great build that I recommend you guys check out. Now, you don't have to have everything I have here, but this build is going to help you with ad clearing like a god, man. Like a god. All right. Now, it does feature the Vantage Point Pulse Rifle. The Vantage Point Pulse Rifle. The reason for it is jolting feedback. You have to have this perk. Jolting feedback. Dealing repeated damage with the weapon inflicts jolt. When you're amplified, the jolt is applied faster. Also, Dark Ether Reaper, the origin trait, final blows with the weapon periodically spawn Dark Ether charges. Why not Volt Shot, you say? Because with Volt Shot, you have to reload the gun. With Jolting Feedback, you don't have to do that. That's why you need to have Jolting Feedback so you can keep on shooting. So when you grab one of these orbs or these charges, you're able to keep on shooting and keep on hitting them with Jolt. Now, my other perk, my first perk in the first slot is Keep Away, which is really good for this weapon. If you, especially if you're playing um, the Onslaught mode or anything like that, even in Crucible is real good because all you have to do is stay away from your enemy and keep shooting and you get reload, range, and accuracy. It is crazy how cracked this gun is. Even on higher difficulty, activities you're able to continue to shoot and continue to get that damage boost every so often and when you're amplified it looks like it does it twice as much from my gameplay okay um let's go through some other things these perks right here you can use if you want like for range or whatever but it doesn't really matter uh that much to me anyway if you think differently leave it in the comments let me know um i'm trying to get this one up to level three i'm almost there tier three um and this weapon's already cracked already and now i'm about to boost the jolting feedback so when i boost that it's going to be ridiculous um also what you will need which will be a handy accessory um you don't have to do this but it does help is use the liturgy grenade launcher double fire um uh, particularly the one i have is disorienting grenades so when they do get close, it is a way to keep them off of you. Um, I have perpetual motion on there, enhanced right now, plus chill clip, which is really good with this because when you do the top half of the magazine, which is like one the one double shot, the one shot that's in the clip, it will also chill them and disorient them at the same time. And when you get Ether Reaper, you add you add ammo to this weapon as well so um you can use different things with this as you wish as well but the main thing you want to have is vantage point and a uh, prismatic class along with getaway artists the re why do i say getaway artists because the way i have my prismatic warlock specked out first bleak watcher you charge the grenade, right? So when you charge the grenade, not only are you gonna get Bleak Watcher, you're also gonna get a Sentient Arc, arc Soul along with that. So that's two for one. So you're gonna get that Sentient Arc Soul as well as the Bleak Watcher. That's double support damage on Arc as well as on Stasis. All right, essential, you need that. And feed the void. You need that in order to activate devour. You're gonna have enemies in your face all the time. That's how you are gonna stay alive is by rapidly killing enemies. Now, the reason why I didn't pick a pure arc class for this, which you still can if you want, but the reason I didn't pick a pure arc class to do this is it's not balanced enough. It's all damage. So when the damage comes towards you, you have no way to suppress it. You have no way to balance it out. With the Prismatic class, you do. You can use Void to get Devour and constantly keep killing enemies. So if you are in trouble, if you're in trouble with your, in, in battle, all you have to do is just kill a weak enemy and you'll get it. As long as you have Devour active, you will get your health back. All right? Um, 
um also you need to have storm grenade in order to make it work properly because it only triggers on arc grenade the uh prismat not the prismatic the uh the arc soul only triggers on arc grenade so you have to have storm grenade you can't use another grenade with it um for the uh, the melee ability you can use whatever you want me right now i got pocket singularity another good thing you can have is incinerator snap is real good if they're right in your face i don't use incinerator snap because if they're too close i end up doing a regular melee and i don't like that all right but that's just me now my fragments i may be able to optimize my fragments but this is what i have right now the facet of protection while surrounded by combatants you are more resistant to incoming damage while transcendent the effect is increased also facet of balance rapidly defeating targets with light damage grants melee melee gives you this pocket singularity which gives you this devour you need that that will help you out also rapidly defeating targets with darkness damage grants grenade energy this is going to give you the grenade energy so now you're all you're sinking all of your stuff together and you're constantly going to get that um transcendence energy all together as well pass it a hope when you have an elemental buff your class ability re regenerates more click quickly you're going to always get this you're going to always be getting uh ability regeneration because you're going to always have an elemental buff devour constant frost armor yes you know uh also if you're in a bit of trouble when you charge it your grenade final blows are going to cure you so transcendent grenade is going to increase the strength of the effect but it's the grenade final blow so when you absorb the grenade not only are you going to get all these powers you're going to get healed as well then landing rapid precision hits emits a severing blast from the target while transcendent the severing blast is bigger faster to solitude you need that it's going to give you uh, uh um strand damage on top of that so there you have it this is my arc bang prismatic goddess build hope y'all like it let me know if you want you'd rather change something to make it better let me know in the comments below it's your boy lord gallows gallows representing the ultimate gaming federation and i'm out of here man peace out you are my legion